Now, Head of Public Service and Chief of Staff Felix Kosgei has announced a freeze on salary increment for public service. Now, Kosgei warned all ministries, government departments, and state corporations against reviewing their employees' salaries without approval. Speaking during the third National Wage Bill Conference, Salaries and Remuneration Commission Chairperson Lynn Mengich emphasized the need to improve productivity in public service as part of efforts to address the crisis of the ballooning wage bill. The number of public offices has grown to over 953,000, pushing the revenue wage bill ratio to 47%, which is 12% higher than what is recommended. Safina Chiengouma has more. First day of the third National Wage Bill Conference was characterized by calls for an urgent plan to tame the ballooning wage bill. Speaker after speaker, led by the head of public service Felix Koske, revealed the impact of the billions gobbled up by public servants in form of salaries and allowances, which stand at 47 percent, almost half of what the country makes in terms of revenue. In the year 2018-2019, the country had 865,234 public officers, and this has grown to the current estimates of 953,041 in 2022-2023, accounting for 10 percent growth over the last five years. Over the same period, public service wage bill also grew by 26.5% to reach an average revenue ratio of 47%, yet citizens continue to decry poor service delivery. Apart from the overwhelming increase in the number of employees, SRC listed hefty allowances, weak controls in payroll management, as well as low productivity among the biggest drivers of the bloated wage bill. We are very low in productivity. Our output per worker is really, really low. And yet we pride ourselves as having the best talent, which I agree we have the best talent. So that is the conversation we are having. Can we be more productive? Can we do more with the resources that we have? Can we have one person doing what Hitherto had been doing? Do, uh, three people had been doing. To control the continued rise in wage bill, Koske directed that all increments of salaries and allowances of public servants must align to the performance of the economy. Any negotiation for improved salaries, wages, and allowances must be cognizant of economic growth projections and trends. We cannot have systems where employers take action on terms and conditions of employment without having that conversation with those charged with revenue generation and collection. Counties, on the other hand, blame the wage bill crisis on the hiccups in allocation and disbursement of funds to the devolved units. We believe that we are dealing with a, um, um, functions that are basic service delivery functions that are critical to the common man in the area of healthcare, in the area of agriculture and livestock, in water, in basic trade, rural roads, you name them. But the amount of funding that we get out of the total budget in one year works to about 9 to 10% of that year's budget and about, um, give or take 13, 14, 15% of the shareable revenue, which is usually based on the last audited accounts. So we must keep asking that the constitutional threshold of 15% of total shareable revenue is released to the counties using not only the most recently audited but the current because it's it's also sad that in 2024 we are still talking about 2019 accounts during the three-day conference convened by SRC, the delegates will discuss and formulate resolutions on best approaches of meeting the target of reducing the wage bill to 35% of the total revenue collected by the year 2028. Safin Acheng Oma, Citizen TV.